people, 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 people. Kepa sa sa pa say what they do. Now the first thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the drivers of minibus, the conductors, they've been knocking at the door long, long time. They've been knocking at the door since the Aishana song. And they've been knocking at the door since that incident as it pertains to the Niamin squad and people. They have a song and people. This is an older video. However, it is going to lead to a video that I am going to speak about. So anyways, people, this conductor and this other conductor named Amazon, them have a song named So What If I Want to Eat the Kitten. You know exactly what I am speaking about, people. Take a listen, take a look to a sample and then I'll proceed into the original video. I am speaking about the new video with an ex bus driver that is basically snacking. He is basically indulging in the forbidden meat. So people take a listen, take a look at this song, a sample and then I'll proceed. In your own, leave my business, my your what own. Then I see me kick back in my comfort zone. So what? If I want to eat the kitty cat, so what? No one put me in the underfrag, so what? My youth better just stop chat. You a button bum, cat and a climb for man back, so what? So people, like I said, before the little nitpickers go crazy in my comment section, there is a next video now, people, that is brand new, just surface. And in this video, we have an ex-bus driver and his name is Melly. And this bus driver, he drives the route from Port Maria to Ocheria. So Port Maria, I think that would be St. Mary, Portland, one of them. Now, people, he is now currently driving water truck. So therefore, people, we see that him life is splash, splash up. He is a person that likes to scuba dive. And when I talk about scuba dive, people, there is a video that is out. However, people, you understand that this is YouTube, so therefore they have policies, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling. However, people, I will explain to you exactly what is going on in this video. Now, in this video, there is a puff belly lady. I don't know, it seems as if these men are blowing up these ladies' stomach because every time we see a video, it's always some lady with some sort of bang belly and people not wrong with that if that is your shape that is your shape however in this video we see that this man and this video is maybe about uh 10 seconds less than take um 20 seconds now people the truth and the facts that in this video this man did not look like an expert he did not look like squaddy he did not look like dylan and he definitely did not look like gary gazan we are speaking about the dan from spanish town he was trying a thing but people we would give him a f for the effort based on what most ladies would say so anyways people like me say it seems as if everybody wants to come out everybody wants their 15 minutes of fame everybody wants to splash in that water people me no know so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. When you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now people, there were five persons that was taken out in a place called Bedward Garden in August Town, maybe about a month or so ago. And in and of those five purses, there was a person of interest in some sort of robbery at the University of the West Indies Hospital and he grabbed somebody's purse, armed robbery. However, people, since the five purses had gotten taken out, there is a picture that is now surfacing with one of those purses or that same purse once again. And this is the purses picture right here on your screen. Now, people, like I said, this man lost his life because it is said that he was some sort of associated gang member. He was gang related. Now, there's a next picture that also came with this other picture. And people, it shows a man dressed up as some sort of drag. We are talking about Queen. Now, people, when I look at this picture, 
it kind of resembles him. He has the same facial structures, rate, lay, lay, blue, blah, blah. However, being somebody that is proficient as it pertains to computer, Photoshop, editing, rate, lay, lay, blue, blah, bling, filters. People, to me, this looks like some sort of filter that is on a lot of these top phones. We are speaking about where they put all sorts of ears, all sorts of eyes, all sorts of glitters. So people may just say, based on my opinion, this looks like some sort of filter. However, with these pictures also came some sort of voice note. And in this voice note, the people were claiming that this is how the man dress up when he's going on his work. Him dress up like a lady. I guess the trough is intended victims. However, people, based upon this picture, if you scrutinize it very carefully, you will see that it is more like a filter. It is more like a Photoshop. However, people like me say, that is my opinion. So anyways, people, this man's picture has been going around social media for quite a while. He was involved in some sort of robbery. He got taken out and fast forward, his duppy is still haunting us. It is still haunting him. It is still haunting his people, whoever his loved ones are. Now, people, if you remember, Bounty Killer had a song named Me Can't Believe My Eyes. And in this song, he kind of said that it seems as if the gangsters and the fish them, they are sparring everybody in the aquarium. And basically what he said is that it seems as if these gangsters, they are switching up. These gangsters, they have all sorts of shibada fetish. Them have all sorts of aquarium kind of tendency. So therefore they are changing. They are switching up clothes like them people in California. And people, it seems as if it is true. So therefore it seems as if this person, before he lost his life, he was using it as some sort of diversion. He was trying to throw off his unsuspecting people. We are speaking about victims. However, people like me say, more than like it, this is a Photoshop. More than like it, this is some sort of filter upon some sort of high class phone, high profile phone. People, let me know what you think in the comment section. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that law enforcement has put out some sort of APB all points bulletin. And basically the caption of this read, look out for this man located between Whitehall and Reddy's roadside. Now people, if you look at the picture at the screen, on the screen, you'll see a little short man and him have a very tall, tall, we are talking about tall, we are talking about some sort of broomstick, we are talking about some sort of M to the 60. I am talking about a lethal weapon, we are talking about some sort of assault rifle. Now people, based on this picture, we see that this man is more than likely some sort of criminal element. So therefore, when we interpret what the Popo say, what does it mean? Look out for this man. Does it mean look out for him to be making the newspaper up on the front of the news? We are talking about the arbitrary. We are talking about the people them, that are sent to the afterlife. Because people, you understand what is going on in Jamaica. You understand that Jamaica is plagued with crime and violence. So therefore, whenever them get a picture like this, they are going to make this person a person of interest. And I am speaking about interest as in his life is going to be devalued. We are speaking about they are sending him down a dove card, point blank and period. So anyways, people, like me say, this is just a picture that I got. And I am telling you what the caption read. Look out for this man located between Whitehall and also Reddy's Road. So people, we should look out for him. Seeing him laying down upon the carpet. We are talking about Alibaba, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now the next thing that is popping in the news. And it goes something like this. The two men who were found conned out in a park car on Fair Lane Drive. We are speaking about in St. Andrew, Kasha Park to be specific. They have been identified as 29-year-old Janika Speed and 21-year-old Sean Shackleton. 
Both men are said to be from St. Andrew. Now, people, based on the information that I got, it is said that one of those persons in that car, he is supposed to be the alleged Don of some sort of gang in a bull bay, big yard gang to be specific, and his name is Rico. However, people, the popo are saying that they don't have a motive. Now, yesterday when I spoke about this video, I played a voice note and I told you that this man was responsible for some sort of takeout of some other dam and people you can check my previous video I spoke about this incident yesterday. However people based on information that I have it is said that these two men especially Mr. Speed they have a very long criminal record so therefore their criminal record spreads from here. We are talking about Kingston, go all the way, and Miguel. We are talking about West End. So, therefore, we see that these persons are crime producers. We see that these people have been in the business for a very long time. However, people like them say, whenever you live by the toll, you also get taken out by that toll. And people by the toll, we are talking about the toll. Because based on the eyewitnesses and based on the popo, the account of eyewitnesses, it is said that some men on a bike sprayed up them car and people them found them slumping over the wheel. We are talking about the passenger seat and also the driver seat. Some people they were DEA dead on. You know what I'm talking about. Some people the moral of the story is this long run short catch. If you live a foul life, you are going to be foul. You are going to be taken out in some sort of foul way. So therefore, if you are the mother, the father, the next of kin, the girlfriend, the mate of these two persons, just remember, they are not coming home. They are going home, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.